The discarded mining dumps and tailing materials lying near mining sites may seem to be of little use, but they might just hold potential to generate billions of dollars. Mining operations produce a lot of waste, which is commonly known as tailings. According to regularity norms, dump sites need to be taken care of properly to prevent pollution and other environmental issues. Normally, these strip materials discarded as waste are stored near or at the location of mining operations. Although sometimes the companies fail to take care of these dump sites and invite environmental catastrophes. In fact, the failure of tailing dams has caused numerous issues in the past. Mine site rehabilitation can be expensive, although the burden of safe storage of the scrap mining materials could be lowered if the industry players start viewing it as potential resources and not just waste. These materials can be recycled and reused for various industrial applications, and tailing dumps can be a gold mine of opportunities for critical minerals which are vital to high-tech industries. Geoscience Australia has teamed up with the premier institutions to prepare an atlas for Australia's mining waste storage locations. The aim is to recover valuable minerals through the concept of secondary prospectivity. The new atlas is being designed under the Australian government's $225 million Exploring for the Future program. The team behind the project is also tasked with creating a methodology to evaluate if a secondary mining of any of these minerals is economically viable. The methodology will then be included in Geoscience Australia's Economic Fairways tool, which will aid in making investment decisions by the Australian resource sector. This secondary prospectivity from existing mines presents new opportunities for the mining companies. This will not only improve the sustainability and social license of their operations, but it will maximize the returns from the project without substantial expenses. Studies have indicated that a secondary mining of tailings and waste mine materials could make more sense than rehabilitation programs, financially and environmentally. For instance, the pyrite-rich tailings can hold up to 3% cobalt, which could easily fetch up to $23,000 US dollars per ton in the international markets. Remining or secondary mining can help protect the environment from toxic waste. There are nearly 50,000 abandoned mines in Australia that contain varieties of reactive mining waste, including sulphide minerals, which, upon mixing with water, can cause acid mine drainage, or AMD. The potential risk is really high and it can cost more than $100,000 per hectare to clean up. So with the technical challenges associated with appropriate disposal of mining waste, there's a strong case for secondary mining. Now that you're up to speed, hit that bell icon to boost your financial IQ. I'm Holly Shields for Calcine Media.